A bottlenose dolphin is a type of mammal that lives underwater. Their scientific name is Torsiopes, and they are in the dolphinide family. Although they live underwater, they still need air to breathe. They come to the surface about every six minutes to get a breath of air. When they come to the surface, they blow the old air out of their lungs and take a quick breath from their blowholes, then immediately dive back down into the water. Their blowholes are located at the top of their head shown in the picture above. When a dolphin is fully grown, it can be up to 6 to 13 feet long and weigh about 300 to 1400 pounds. They can live up to around 40 years old, but if they live in captivity, they only live up to about 20 years old. Dolphins start mating between the age of 5 and 13 years old. When they are pregnant, they usually carry the baby dolphin, also known as a calf, for about 12 months until birth. When the calf is born, it's usually 3 to 4 and a half feet long and weighs about 22 to 44 pounds. Bottlenose dolphins live in temperate and tropical waters around the world, such as the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and the Indian Ocean. They travel and migrate in pods with up to 15 dolphins. The bottlenose dolphin is an extremely smart and social animal who uses body language to communicate and interact with others. Some ways they communicate with others would be butting their heads, squeaking, by opening and closing their jaw to make a high-pitched clicking noise, slapping their tails on the surface of water, and by blowing circular bubbles from their mouths. Why do dolphins use echolocation? They use echolocation to navigate, locate prey, hunt, and to protect themselves from predators. They send out high-frequency sound waves, and when they hit an object, they bounce back, allowing them to identify the location, shape, and size of the object. The bottlenose dolphin hunts in groups. They use different methods to hunt for their food. Once they find a school fish, they use one method called herding. Herding is when a group of dolphins circles around a school fish to gather them as close together as possible. They take turns to swim from the bottom of the school so they can have the most fish on each pass. Why do they go from the bottom of the school? They go from the bottom of the school because if they went from the sides, the fishes would disperse. Another method of hunting is coraling. This is when a group of dolphins chases a school of fish to shallow waters where they cannot escape, keeping them close to the shore. Then they take turns catching the fish to eat. What do bottlenose dolphins eat? Bottlenose dolphins mainly eat small fish and sometimes squid, crabs, shrimp, and other smaller animals. Although they have sharp teeth, their teeth are not used to chewing their food. Instead, they shake them or rub them on the ocean floor until suitable sized pieces break off. The fin is another important body part of the bottlenose dolphin. The two fins on each side of the dolphin are called pectoral fins. These fins are mostly used for steering. They also have a dorsal fin, which is the vertical fin on the dolphin's back. The dorsal fin provides stability to the dolphin's body. The tail is made of two fins called flukes. The tail is important because it propels the dolphin. The rostrum. This is also known as the dolphin's long snout. The bottlenose dolphin uses the long snout to look for fish hiding under the ocean floor. Blubber. Blubber is a layer of fat under the surface of the dolphin's skin. This blubber aids in making the dolphin swimming more efficiently. It also keeps their body warm in cool water and helps the dolphin's body to remain buoyant. The melon. The melon is the dolphin's large, fatty forehead. When dolphins echolocate or make noise to communicate, the sounds are projected from the melon. Hunting has a major impact on dolphins. In some areas, people hunt dolphins for meat. It is most common in Japan because the dolphin is considered a delicacy, where a single pound of its meat costs as much as $25. Large commercial fishing operations use nets to trap the dolphins along with the fish they target. The trapped dolphins suffocate when they become entangled in the net and can't reach the surface to breathe. 
While struggling to get themselves free, dolphins may break off their fins or injure themselves. It is estimated that 30 million dolphins have been killed this way since they began keeping records in the 1960s. Water pollution. Water pollution can cause harm to dolphins internally as well as killing the fish they feed on. Pollution can also weaken dolphins' immune systems, making them vulnerable to infections, parasites, and diseases a healthy dolphin would be able to overcome. Why are dolphins important to the environment? Dolphins are important to the environment because they are good natural indicators of the biome conservation. They consume several species of fish and squid, concentrating in their bodies the possible contaminants in the water. Monitoring dolphins and the levels of their contaminants in their bodies help scientists to preserve the ocean.